forget, your brain releases these chemicals called neurotrophins. Those are the elixirs, like the fertilizer, and the neurons begin to communicate. Look at that, it like Italian with cell phones. That's what they're doing. They're communicating with everybody. So the neural growth factor enhances connections, and repetition is the thing that does it. Every time you learn something new and repeat it, or you have an experience, your brain releases this blue or this chemical. So, this is a neural network. If you take a soup of gray matter the size of a pea, and you stretch those neurons out end to end, it will be two miles long. I don't know how many kilometers that is. Now this is the electrical component of neurons. Your brain is electrical. Want to see a thought? There you go. Want to see a thought again? You generate more electrical signals in your brain in one day than all the cell phones on the planet put together. That's how electric you are. And it doesn't come from the topics you ate for lunch. It comes from the field. So here's a neural network again. You are forming a neural network today by everything you're learning and everything you're repeating. As you learn new things and you repeat them, you cause a community of neurons to begin to wire together. And those community of neurons that are related to a concept or an idea or a thought process literally becomes an automatic hardwired program. Now our frontal lobe is the seat of our free will. It's where we learn when we have attention or attention. It's where we speculate possibilities and think about outcomes. It's our creative center. It also controls our emotional reactions. It's the newest and most evolved part of the entire brain and nervous system. It is also the most neuroplastic part of the brain. Now, when you are in a meditative state, which you will be in in a little while, as you begin to think about a future reality, the frontal lobe literally acts like a volume control. When you pay attention to something, the frontal lobe doesn't want to be distracted by anything else in the environment. So it literally cools off the circuits in the motor strip of the brain, and you become very still. It shuts the lights out in the feeling part of the brain, and you no longer feel your body. You don't have a mind to feel. It cools off the parietal lobe, and time and space literally disappear. It cools off the visual center, so you're no longer seeing with your eyes. It cools off the association center, so you forget about your identity in the environment. It quiets down the emotional center, so the survival chemicals are cooled off. And the moment that happens, whatever you're thinking about literally becomes the experience. And the moment the thought becomes the experience, your brain captures it neurologically. We could say now, you're ahead of time. Your brain is now in the future instead of in the past.